Folks, I'll be honest with you, I got a ton of stuff to unbox today. I'm talking to Risa Hall from Box Lunch, my other box of fun that just barely came in, and a good amount of NFT pops. So without any further ado, let's hop into it. Here we go. Here we go. All right, first things first, guys, let's start off with Box Lunch. And I don't know what it is, guys, but there's actually been some pretty decent pops releasing lately. And uh, well, that's what is in this box. I told myself I'm not gonna be buying a ton of new pops here, but lo and behold, here we are. They always suck me back in. I, I don't know what it is. But let's start off with a pop that I think you guys would probably not expect for me to have in my collection. But this is La Chalupa from Loteria. And now you're probably thinking to yourself, why does a white guy know what Loteria is? It's funny because I actually lived in Mexico for a little bit of time and I actually did play this game. And I remember it being pretty darn fun. So I figured when I saw the pops that they were making of this, I figured, hey, let's go ahead and pick them up. So we have La Chalupa right here, which is awesome. She's got her little boat that she's in with some little flowers and I believe that to be maybe like some food or something. If you guys are curious as well, there are a couple of other pops in this line. You have El Diablito, which is like the little devil right there and La Muerte, which is death. And I am for sure getting those ones because they look like they're gonna be pretty cool. But anyways, random Funko Pop pickup number one, we have La Chalupa. Random pickup number two, we have Box Lunch exclusive Snoopy, or I guess Chef Snoopy. And for some reason, when I picked this up, I thought it was a part of, you know, those Feeding America Pops that they usually have. But this one isn't really tied to that cause. It looks like it's just regular Chef Snoopy. And one detail that I think is actually pretty cool on the back of the box, guys, is they actually have some Snoopy comics on the back, which is pretty sweet. But anyways, I. I love my Peanuts Pops. I think I'm almost all the way complete with all the different ones. I think, including this new one, I think we are pretty close to being complete. And these two I've literally been waiting over a year for, guys. We have Hugo Simpson and also Snail Lisa from the Tree House of Horror. And you guys know that I'm a massive Simpsons collector. I'm even wearing my Bart Simpson shirt right now. And if you guys didn't know, these pops actually have been delayed for like over a year. I don't know if there was like production issues or like some shipping delays or whatever whatever, but we finally have them. So this first one we got right here is Snail Lisa, looking pretty sweet. And honestly, this might be one of my favorite ones from the new line, guys. We have Hugo Simpson right here. And if my memory serves correct, I think this is like Bart's evil twin or something that's in Treehouse of Horror, in an episode of Treehouse of Horror. I definitely have to watch the episode again to make sure I was correct on that. But I love how he's got his little glass of milk right there and he has his little plate of fish heads. And as far as the ones that I'm still missing, guys, it would be Witch Maggie and also Skeleton Mark. I haven't seen those ones in store yet, but uh, excited to add these to the Simpsons collection for now. You're here. Yes, Bart. I never left you. Okay, so on to the box of fun number two. If you guys haven't seen my video of me unboxing my first box of fun, I highly recommend that you watch that one first before you watch, you know, me opening up the second one right here. This one right here is the Lumberjacks box, and this is actually the one that I ordered myself. The other one that I unboxed before was from a friend, and he offered it to me, you know, for retail and everything like that and uh good thing i did that because i wouldn't have been able to make a video last week and uh this one kind of took forever, but it's finally here. But as far as what I'm hoping to pull, guys, I would love to get a Freddy Funko as Shaggy because I don't have that one yet, and I and I would love to add it to the collection for sure. But anyways, let's open this up. I guess we can kind of see. Well, I don't know how I want to go about this. Maybe a little bit of a mystery style. All right, let's grab the sodas out first. Which ones did we get? Oh, that's sweet, guys. We got Freddy Funko as Donatello. That's limited to 5,000 pieces. Oh, this one's pretty cool, too. We have Freddy Funko as Thor, also limited to 5,000 pieces. And I won't be opening these up right now because we've got a lot of other things to show off. All right, but as far as the pops in here, I can fill my first one. Let's see if I can grab it out of here without damaging anything. Three, two, one. Which one did we get? Oh, okay, this looks to be Freddy Funko as Merlin. And if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the ones that was a repeat of a pop that was actually at Fun Days that they accidentally included in this box right here. And some of you might say accidentally might not be the right word to say about this pop being in this box. I don't know, is it a mistake? Was it on purpose? 
who really knows? But controversy aside, guys, actually this pop is pretty darn cool. I'm actually kind of curious why they don't have uh, Artemidas, Archimedes? I'm trying to remember the owl's name that's in here because the regular pop of Merlin would have him. But I, I don't know, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep that one. Let's see what we got as our second one. And the second one ended up, hey, ended up being Freddy Funko as Shaggy. All right, this was actually one that I wanted. When I went to Fun Days, guys, I actually was able to get the Blacklight Shaggy. So I am happy to add, you know, the normal one to my collection, which is pretty sweet. All right, pop number three. If I remember correctly, this one's probably the mascot of the lot. Yeah, it is. This is the Lumberjacks mascot. And honestly, there's really not much to show off on this guy. It's just one of the four mascots that you could choose. But overall, I mean, it's still a pretty fun pop. Let's move on to our last one right here and see what we got in our box. What did we get? Looks, oh, okay, looks like it's Freddy Funko as Waldo, the Diamond Edition one. And I can't remember if this is a repeat one or not, but I find it kind of interesting that the Diamond Edition is the one that's a higher piece count. I don't know if that was a mistake or what it was, but it just doesn't really make, make much sense to me to make that one the higher piece count one. But honestly, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what's in here. I mean, we got our Shaggy that we were looking for. I mean, I am digging these new uh, TMNT Freddy Funko sodas for sure. But as far as everything else, I mean, for sure, I know I'm keeping Shaggy. And if there's anything you guys are interested, let me know. All right, guys, I've got two boxes right here coming from Drop. And Drop is the company that does all the Funko NFTs. So whenever you redeem anything, they're the ones that are going to send you out the pops in the mail. And the ones that are inside of here are ones that I have been waiting on for quite a while now. And if you guys know what I like to collect, you know, with the Simpsons, cartoon related stuff. Well, this is definitely animated and cartoon related in here. And you're probably wondering why there's two boxes. Well, I ended up getting the set and also a couple other extras. So I suppose let's start with the big box first. And one thing that actually concerns me that I can see on the front right here is that a giant, well, I mean, a good sized hole that's on the front. But from what I can tell, I don't think it damaged any of the pops that are in there. So I, I don't know, fingers crossed. But anyways, all of these are kind of connected. So I'm just gonna kind of unconnect the top right here. Okay, here we go. So the first three I have right here are actually two extras. So we have two Roadrunners and also the Grail Wily Coyote. So if you guys wanna take, we'll take a look at Roadrunner here first. Guys, that is freaking sweet. I love how they made Roadrunner running. I mean, obviously it, it's in the name, he runs a lot. So it definitely makes sense to have the pop running. And I think it actually turned out pretty good. I was kind of curious to see what that would look like, you know, with the orange and his feet blended together. They did a pretty good job. But this is limited guys to 1,635 pieces. And I wanna say, if I remember seeing the redemption number somewhere, that it was actually closer to about 1,500 that were actually redeemed. And here is the Grail Wily Coyote. This one's got some great detail as well. I love that, you know, he's got that smash look. He's got the accordion look and body. I do have to say this is a really cool pop. I would have loved to see maybe a different character as the Grail, maybe a brand new one that we haven't seen before. But either way, a new Looney Tunes pop, I'll definitely take it. And if you guys are curious, this is limited to 999 like all Grails are. And if you guys wanna take a look at the back of the box right there, that's the card that you would have pulled if you would have got this. I'm curious to see if there's any duplicates. Ah, it looks like there is. So I've got two Yosemite Sams and also a Foghorn Lakehorn. And there he is, folks. This one's probably my favorite of all the different pops that they did for this Looney Tunes line. Limited to 1,635 pieces, this is the first ever pop of Yosemite Sam, and I don't know why it took him forever to do it. I love the little detail, guys, that he has of the little money bag that he's holding right there. Obviously, it's iconic for him, you know, to have his little uh, his little shooters, his little pistols, but I don't know if there's some issues with him holding, like, guns or whatever, but anyways, guys, this is definitely an epic pop. I love the mold on it. And another brand new character we have right here, guys, is Foghorn Leghorn. And I want to say the guy that he's holding in his hand, I think his name is Hawk? I could be a thousand percent wrong on that, but definitely really cool that we kind of have two pops in one. And I would say he's probably one of the more iconic Looney Tunes pops, and it's interesting that we didn't get a pop of him until just now. And I forgot to show the back of the box on Yosemite Sam, but if you guys want to take a look at that right there, there's the card that you would have pulled to get this pop. And if you're doing the math correctly, guys, we are missing one pop from the entire set. And the pops that were in this box were an extra Foghorn Leghorn, and the one that we were missing right here, Freddy Funko as Bugs Bunny. 
And one detail that I actually just noticed, guys, is they were able to fit the Freddy Funko crown on top of one of the bunny ears for Bugs Bunny. I think that's awesome. And this has got to be up there with one of my favorite Freddy Funko royalties that they've done for the NFTs. So really awesome to see that. And also we have the extra Foghorn Leghorn, but we've already shown that off just previously. But anyways, if you guys are curious what I'm doing with my extra set, but if anybody makes me an awesome offer for the extra ones that I have, reach out to me on Instagram. Maybe we can work out a deal. But I am overall beyond the moon excited to finally add some new Looney Tunes into my collection. And folks, just like that, that's gonna do it for this very long unboxing video. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what's a Funko Pop that you've picked up recently. Have you actually picked up any of the NFTs? Like, like these Looney Tune ones right here. Also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.